Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline and I am just about to head out to go thrifting up in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. This is a thrift store, Lucky Dog Thrift, I love to go to. I always find really cool things. Now it is a very large store, quite crowded with inventory, but it makes the hunt even more fun. Today is Monday morning, it's about 9 a.m. I gotta get on the road. All right, let's go thrifting, I'm taking you with me. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, it is a gorgeous day. Hopefully you can hear me with this traffic and we are at Lucky Dog Thrift Store. Last time I brought you guys here, we had such a good time. This place is a treasure trove, truly. So much in this store, upstairs, downstairs, and the prices are really good. So today is gonna be wonderful. I don't know why it took me so long to get back here. I always love shopping in this store. Let's go inside. I even have my glasses today. So this is one of my favorite booths. I've bought quite a bit from this booth. And right away, I don't know that this is that vintage, but look at this picture frame. It's a peacock with a bejeweled tail. $3. Velvet back. It is quite heavy, so that's nice. I don't see any marking on it. But look at that, right out of the gate, I think we found our first item. I love the enamel painting within the teardrop shape also. This is beautiful. All right, I think we're gonna make a pile on the counter and see what we can find. Okay, this is a soapstone owl. I imagine if you put a little votive under him, he would glow. He is really sweet. I don't see any chipping on him. He might have originally had a tray that he sat in. Is that $1? Is that the correct price? All right, we found item number two. I really like him. I see a piece of stone, something or another. We are gonna take him back here. What is this? Ooh, it's very heavy. I'm gonna be careful not to break anything. Huh, $4. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Very interesting but I can't identify what it is even with my glasses on. <laughs> All right, we're taking this guy. Oh, I like the bird over there too. Let's see what he is. What does that say? Home interiors. Wow, that's an old one. Home interiors bird. I wonder what he's supposed to be. Just a little figurine. I do like him for some reason. Can't tell what he's made out of. Let me put him down and do the tap test. Hmm, not sure. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this shelf here. This little iron napkin holder in green. I currently need a napkin holder. <laughs> so now I'm on the hunt for the special napkin holder. Here's a few hats here. Looks like Jeff Gordon, I imagine. Fishy fish. Here, fishy fish, that's cute, $4. Okay, don't think I'm gonna go down the hats rabbit hole. That can become an all day thing. All right, here is a beautiful vase. Does have a little bit of chipping along the ribs and they want five dollars for it. Very heavy glass. Quite beautiful. Hmm, should I get that with a little bit of chipping? I think I'm going to leave that one behind. I wish it was perfect. Quite pretty. All right, so we're gonna leave that one. I see a little wood box there. I'm gonna try to dig that out. Okay, this looks to be one of the little um, hope chest boxes. $3, looks like it has a seashell on top. LBK 2008, so maybe not as old as we think. This looks older than 2008 to me. Let me see if I can get this open. There we go. Velvet lined with a rose that's been glued. A little applique rose, and it's got a separate little compartment. Let's see if that opens, trying to balance everything. Hmm. 
Yeah, that looks definitely older than 2008, but I guess that's what it is. Okay, I feel like you could get lost in this place. <laughs> oh, little tiny salt and pepper shakers have lost their tops. That's fishing hull. You can so easily miss stuff in this place. Wow. This is stone. $18. Salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I do like this set. This is a little wood set. Not anything really, you know, special. Probably a souvenir. Not sure what they're asking for it. Look at all the wood ones. Salt and pepper shaker collections just go on and on. They are fun to look at, even though I don't collect. All right, we're gonna scoot down this tiny aisle. I can barely fit. Let's see what else we see. Some old Christmas lights. Oh, there's a wire basket down here. What is this? $18. Oh, that is quite nice. Definitely older. Looks to be antique. Like a mesh wire that you would probably line with moss and do a floral arrangement. I don't know if that's meant to be like a woman's hat or it's just shaped with the brim curved down. Pottery like this always catches my attention, but unfortunately this one's got damage. I love the primitive design. The coloring is beautiful. Patterned after fragments, fragments excavated at something foreign. Barnum's Quarters, Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. Dorothy Long made it in 1984. Good job, Dorothy. If that didn't have a chip, that one would be coming home with me. Unfortunately, it does have damage. Okay, I see another piece of pottery under this frame. Let's see if we can get that out. I love pottery. I always say if I had to sell one niche, like in the art world, it would probably be pottery. Oh, this is quite pretty. As is a dollar fifty. Okay, so it does have a slight chip on the edge there. For a dollar fifty, do I want that? Mm, I think I'm going to discipline myself once again because I really want to pick up items that are in great shape, even if they are older. So even though the chip is small, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Okay, we're going down another very tight aisle. I'm going to have to watch my handbag. You guys know me with my big handbags on my shoulder. There's a little handbag. Oh my goodness. Is it a handbag or is it a sewing box? Uh, I think it might be a sewing box. Will that stay clipped? It does. Oh, that's super cute. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it's meant to be. I really like the curved handle. Thinking the handle might be Bakelite. And I recently just sold that loose site purse for $95 that was signed that had this same kind of ball clasp. It is felt lined. I'm really liking this. I just wish I knew what the original purpose was. It does have a little bit of crazing or cracking in the finish. I imagine all of them would have that from this age. Okay, I'm gonna give that one thought. I really like that, especially like the handle. What is this? Hamburger press. I think that's what that says. The paint does have quite a bit of distressing. So it's a wooden hamburger press. Did somebody make this? Oh, that would be a very tiny hamburger. <laughs> I have never seen this before. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Two fifty. Do we want a hamburger press for two fifty? <sighs> so cute. All right, we're gonna turn the corner. Turning the corner. Oh, why do all the pieces I love have damage? This is gorgeous. Two dollars. <gasps> that breaks my heart. Just breaks my heart. Oh. Okay, J.K. made this. Great job. Look how beautiful that is. The shape of it is good. The glaze is everything. Two dollars. Do I get that with a little bit of chipping? Hmm. The clay seems to be white. I'm not sure what that means. It has substantial weight to it. 
I don't know that I've seen that color clay unless it was a darker clay and then overwashed or overpainted with white. Okay, guys, what do we think about items that have little chips like that? Boy, that's pretty. All right, for $2, I think I might be taking this. Breaking my own rule. This is so beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm bringing this one home. Okay, every time I bring up an item that I'm buying up to the register or to add to my pile, I lose track of where I was. So funny. Look at this set here. What are those beetles? They look like gold beetles. I am attracted to the most weird things. Okay, what does this say on the bottom? Original something Japan. Something creation. I don't even know. Okay, so if this would be... That can't be the sugar because this guy is the oil. So maybe it's just a mixed set. 15 for the whole thing. This is very beautiful, I have to say. And I kind of like that it has beetles. <laughs> That is so funny. $15. I'm going to keep that in mind. Who doesn't need beetle china? And we don't love a good beetle. Not at all. Okay, candlesticks. This is Botanic Garden, right? Yes, but the Botanic Garden. Little kitty terracotta pot. Here's some thatched houses that are canisters. $40 for this set. I keep my flower in a in a Pyrex, not even a Pyrex, like a like a plastic, I don't know, container. Very uneventful. Okay, who is this Wonder Woman? <laughs> Wonder Woman needs a little hair treatment. Music box with box, little carousel, plastic. Oh, he's old. Look at this bartender. How much is he? $20, Charlie. Charlie the bartender. I wonder what year that's from. Look at that. He's mechanical. Oh, that's very fun. This little setup is very cute. I love when they take little curio shelves and make like a little vignette. So fun. Up, we have a green glass snail, $3. Okay, he's got two different size antennas. Doesn't feel to be too old. He is kind of cute, $3. Or for $3, oh no, $1. We can have a little gnome. I think I'm taking him. He's just so cute with his eyes covered. Adorable. We need friends. Keep your eyes open for friends of the gnome. Maybe we should get t-shirts. Friends of the gnome. Oh, look at that owl candle. I always feel bad for animals that are candles. I could never light them and just watch them melt away. Okay, we have a little Asian painted bottle. Not sure what that's used for. Okay, I'm going to put Mr. Gnome right there. Stay. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's a knob. Maybe to a lamp, a finial? That is quite interesting. I do like this jar. Let's pull that out. It seems to be a little bit newer because the gold is so shiny. Older items, the gold is not as chromed looking. I don't know if the word chromed is only used for silver, but when you see this lacquered, very highly shiny gold, to me, that is definitely newer. All right, we're not going to forget him. We're going to take him. And what else are we seeing? There is a copper press dog back there. Uh, okay, I see a little kitty picture. I do sell these. Let's see if this is hand done. Batson. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Are you guys seeing this? The cat is made out of the person's thumbprints. Two dollars. That is definitely a yes. Adorable. Okay, this booth looks like it has a lot of treasure. This looks to be longer burger. 
Yes, Longaberger, Dresden, Ohio. Unfortunately, so many of these are overpriced and they're not in great condition in Pennsylvania. A lot of them were kept in barns or out in the weather. I mean, sometimes you can find, you know, the good ones. I look for the specialty ones. I've said this before, like the Christmas ones, the Easter ones, things like that, where they have their cloth liners and they're in very good condition. This one is pretty. Hope with the charm. Let's see what they want for this one. $10. That's a fair price. Not good for eBay, but that's a fair price for if you're buying it for yourself. That's what I want to say. Oh, apples. <laughs> I just sold those wood apples. Remember I picked up wood apples, guys? I just sold them. What did I get for them? I think $24. These are quite pretty. Huh. They are very lightweight. I like the ones that are heavier. They're quite realistic looking. 50 cents an apple. And I imagine you can get apples like this in the craft stores. So unless the apples are really special, I don't buy cheap apples. <laughs> It's quite a bit on this shelving to go through. Oh, he's plastic. Darn. He's Avon. Is he Avon? He is Avon. I thought for a second he was a glass fish. That would be beautiful if it was glass. Okay, lots of Avon and different vintage cosmetics. Always Bath and Body. Different, different items. I see a lot of this Tresemme. I'm not quite sure why people are selling Tresemme. Am I missing out on something? So interesting. Always Pez dispensers. Stockings. If you find stockings from France, you definitely want to run a comp on that. I talked about French lingerie and French hair accessories recently. People love an item that's been made in France. Okay, we're going to go around this way trying to catch everything up oh, an iron doorstop it's a pig okay this is definitely a reproduction oh he's cute oh, he is adorable let's see if we can see the marking on the back okay so this was sold in just a a current local store i could turn this over and we could look at this better let's set it on this table here gently and see where this was where this originated I don't know that vendor. Looks to be just a local store. So 25 is a little bit high. I would have taken him for 15. And I don't think this booth is having a sale. So we're going to put him back. But he is cute. This little red pot looks to be Le Creuset. Yes, made in France. It's a number 14. Okay, let's see if I can put this down. Oh, the inside. So many of the Le Creuset that I find has this situation going on. The enamel just gets worn away, and you can see that it's uh, metal underneath. Made in France. Let me turn that around so you guys can see the marking on it. If you find this marking, Le Creuset, made in France, and the pot is in good condition, and you can get it for a good price, I always pick this up. But this time, $20 for a burnt pot. <laughs> Not so much. Oh my goodness, this booth looks really interesting. Okay, no, this is not old, but boy, is this pretty. Green glass. What is that called? Casing, I think. It's cased glass. That means the white is on the inside and the color on the outside. Lime green, $8. Definitely newer. Wow, that's a big glass. Glass vase down there. Would not want to ship that. These dishes are pretty. Let's see who's... This is Stangle, I think. Yeah, Stangle Pottery. Quite pretty. I wonder what they want for the set. Eight Stangle Cups and two plates, $7. I see the Sugar Bowl to the set. The Sugar Bowl is $6. I don't imagine this brings much online, but I always love to look at the different patterns. Look at the pot, coffee pot, right, guys? <laughs> Thistle Stangle Pottery, Coffee Pot Warmer. Okay, $20. That is beautiful. Again, a little bit of damage, but I really like that pattern. I think this is a Rendsburg, 1930s, yeah, Rendsburg orange, hand-painted floral. No lid. This is a cookie jar. 
I imagine this probably would have went for about 40. I think this is beautiful. I think that's a very fun pattern. Bright flowers, very boho looking, but without the top. Um, yeah, definitely not good for 22. Sometimes you can find items in a store like this that leaves plenty of room for profit. And other times you really have to run comps to make sure that you're not overspending. Because in a store like this, it's so easy just to start buying everything. I like this tray, definitely newer, and it's not real wood. It's kind of like a, a cardboard that's been painted $6. Very pretty scene though. Okay, what else? Ooh, I like these copper pots. Ah, oh, these are nice. What are they? Oh, these look like solid copper. Could that even be? All right, am I looking right at the price tag? Oh, $45. $45 each. Beautiful. I believe those are uh, solid copper with, I think, a pot metal or an iron um, ring and handle. Very pretty. <laughs> these are fun. <laughs> so much to see in this store. I'm not going to even try to say that name. Pistole. Oh, Pistole. Is it? That sounds... Oh, it's Falls Graph. Made in Mexico. Those are adorable. Huh. Good for you, Falls Graph. I'm very surprised at that. Made in Mexico. I wonder what year Falls Graph made in Mexico, because I'm sure they were in China. All right, these are adorable. $8 for the pair. I'm going to run a comp on those and see if I can find them. i comps on my phone, $39.99, but these are not sold. That's what the seller wants for them. And another set for $35, so these would be eight for the pair. I'm almost tempted, even though none have sold. They're so stinking cute. They would be a big wax cleanup job, but I really like those. I think the glass follows me everywhere I go. This red bowl is catching my attention. Boy, is that pretty. Three dollars. I think this might be Telefloral. Let's see what the bottom says. Yeah, Telefloral gifts. Made in China. Okay, this is really beautiful. So heavy. This is gorgeous. Three dollars. Now, I don't imagine, because it has the Telefloral, you know, name on it, I don't imagine this is going to bring more than fifteen dollars. But I think it should, just because it's Telefloral. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I love red glass. All right, sadly I'm gonna leave that because it is about the profit and I wouldn't make much on that, but if I was collecting red glass, that would be a yes. Love the shape, so pretty, very heavy and very clear. Okay, look what I've spotted, $45 firm. <laughs> wow, this thing is stunning. Look how beautifully painted that is. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm not going to deal with it, but boy, is that tempting. Recently, I showed a lamp, a hurricane-style lamp, and it was painted, but it was very, very crudely done. But this one is beautifully done, all hand-painted, very nice condition. I think it's missing one of its spear um, drops. I think that's what the shape is called, the spear. $45. Boy, that's pretty. If I decorated with like a Victorian style, I'd be scooping that up. We are getting into the clothing section, so I think I'm going to stop this part of the video here and head out. And there is a Goodwill down the street. I'm going to go to the Goodwill and see what's going on there. I heard they got some new shelving. And if they're putting money into the store, that usually means that they're going to bring in different inventory, you know, just to compensate for fixing up the store. All right, guys, so this is Lucky Dog Thrift in Ephrata, PA, and they also have a hole downstairs. We'll have to do that another day. Hit that like and subscribe button, and let's go down the road to the Goodwill. So how's that for a front row parking spot? <laughs> right in front of the doors. This is great. <laughs> You know what that means, don't you? That we're probably going to have big things and we can't carry them far, I'm thinking. So this is what this Goodwill looks like. This is Goodwill Ephrata. Up, oh, people coming out. So I'm going to lower the camera. 
Oh, that girl looks like she got something good. All right, I'm not going to chit chat long. I got to get in the store. Come along. Let's go thrifting. One of the items that still catch my attention are beer steins. I'm not quite sure why. The majority of what I look at is not worth anything. These are the Holiday Stein 2004 Budweiser. They want $5 a piece, and they do have three of them. But I don't think these would bring more than maybe $24 for the three. So I figured I would point that out. I have sold uh, the German antique beer steins. Those always do well, but they are so far and few between. I think beer steins is one of the most heavily looked at items in our area. Decorative plates is another thing that I no longer pick up. Very, very rare, if at all. These are Limoges. Haviland, I believe. Yep. Madonna and Feruzzi. So it's a limited edition decorator's plate. I think this is Raphael. Don't quote me on that. And there are beautiful plates here. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Unfortunately, they probably, if they did $9.99 each, it would be a lot. Look how pretty this is. And I'm not quite sure why decorative plates fell out of favor. Maybe because a lot of people don't put these on the walls anymore. $5.00. And here is the last one, probably the prettiest one of all. But again, I'm gonna leave them for somebody else. Golden Peach Sparkle White Barn Candle. Triple wick. This is for me. I have quite the candle collection going on, $7. And it was $24.50 in this store. I not only love peach, the aroma of peach, but I also like this brown and gold print so pretty so this is a definite yes but not for resale one of the sections i always look at is tennis rackets and tennis bags so no matter what the season but especially late winter early spring i'm always looking at tennis rackets i try to pay only a couple of dollars here this one is ten dollars but it's blue tag so i'm going to pay five dollars tomorrow it would be two dollars but i don't know if i'm going to make it back to this store because tuesdays is two dollar tuesday but i'm going to go ahead and take this one now i have to comp every single racket i have not learned a thing <laughs> At least I haven't held any of it in my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And I'm also gonna grab this Wilson Hyper, or Hyperion, Hyperion, Hyperion. Can't even say that. Um, bag, has no tennis racket, but it is $2.99. So for $3, I imagine this one will bring 20 to 23. Just a guess, a little bit dirty, but I don't think Tennis players mind that. All right, both items going in the cart. So this horse is beautiful, not a briar. $2.99, he does have stickers on him for Red Mill Manufacturing. So it has a carved look. I think he's just a resin, but he is marked. And because people love horses so much, I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up. I don't see any damage. And like I said, he's beautiful, $2.99. And I think he'll probably do about $20. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in the cart. I also picked up another drying rack for myself. I love drying my clothes, air drying. So I'm always on the hunt for these. This one's $3. So again, this is personal use. And hopefully I don't keep buying too much for myself, but get some more stuff for resale. So I'm starting to dig through these two blue bins for either backpacks or handbags. And I pull out the first item and it is a turtle footrest <laughs> what <laughs> $6.99 it's got a butterfly print I think this is 70s with a pom-pom trim definitely handmade almost cute almost I think they could have done a better job on the face who makes this stuff does anyone need a turtle footrest with a velvet cushion <laughs> okay putting that back it's just the crazy stuff you see in Goodwill Okay, so it was slim pickings today. We got the candle down there, that's for personal use. The clothing rack, personal use. A tennis racket with its bag, an empty bag, and a horse. Up, oh, and I think I found a cat, which is not worth much, but he was just too cute to leave behind. See if I can get him out. So this is what he looks like. He was too cute to leave behind. What am I paying for him? Four dollars. I'll take him. All right, so slim pickings at this store. We are on to the next store. Okay, this is not the third store I was going to, but the car automatically pulled into Mother Tucker's Antiques and Collectibles. 
Let's go inside. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. Oh, Stephanie, where'd you get this light? Spun spaghetti. Four twenty-five. Oh, she has such good taste. So I met Stephanie, I think, in a Goodwill. Surprise, surprise. And um, we hit it off right away. We do get to go thrifting or flea marketing once in a great while. I think she's been in one of my older videos. $28. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, my goodness. Everything is so cute. Look at her taste. Oh, I love this. Oh, oh I love this. This is so beautiful. Carlton wear. Oh, the green is everything with the gold trim. This is Stephanie's store, the Whimsy Lark Vintage, and she is also on Instagram. And she also makes YouTube videos. So we're going to take a quick look at her booth. Oh, she has the best eye. Rings and things. Oh my goodness, look at this little... Is this one of those... I forget what these are called. It's a certain name to it. Shamrock Pottery, Leprechaun on Leaf. Okay, not what I was thinking about, but how cute is that? Little tiny leprechaun sitting on a leaf. Okay, I don't know where she's getting her stuff, but stop it. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, look at these. Is this a volcano bookend? 125. Oh, it's Blanco. Wow. Shout out to you, girlfriend. Nice job. Stephanie also goes to the auction where I go, our main auction, and we hang out together and try not to bid against each other. Most times we are bidding on different things, but all of this is just great. Look at this vase down here. Okay, I have never seen this. Where is she getting this stuff? 125, Arandi Tonala Mexican Pottery Butterfly Vase. This is probably the best Mexican pottery I have seen. Just beautiful. Oh my gosh, do I need this? I think I need this in my life. What is this? Ethiopian hide covered basket, $100. Wow, that's beautiful. <gasps> what? Stephanie? This is crazy. Crazy good. Wow. I kind of want this. So pretty. I don't know where I'd put an Ethiopian hide covered basket in my house, but. So beautiful, all handmade. Okay, we're going to look around a little bit. We really are on our way to another Goodwill, but how could you not stop to take a look at all of this goodness? Lucite grapes on driftwood. Oh, is this a cat? Pin holder. Is it a pin holder? Or is that? Oh, no, those are fixed. $20. Oh, the vase is very good. I like the vase, too. Let's take a look at the vase. $48, mid-century modern pottery. Wow, that is really, really nice. Look at this stool. Beautiful, it's like live edge. Okay, the next booth that we're looking at has gorgeous stuff too. Look at all of this. Again, this is Mother Tucker's. Oh my goodness. Okay, get my credit card ready. I love everything. Oh, look at the little cats. Leave a comment down below of what you see that I'm filming that you guys love. I would love to know what everybody is, you know, just wanting or how, the, how you decorate your house. What's appealing. Look at the cat mirror. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So, so cute. $76. Well worth it. Love the big owl. Look at the urn. Look at the 
beaded fish. Okay, and this booth is 20% off. Lots of puppies. Oh, look at this bird. Is this metal? I think the bird is brass. What does that say? $14. That is quite pretty. <laughs> Here's a pig. He's not a good pig. <laughs> I think he's a pig with lipstick on. Oh, I do like these salt and pepper shakers. And the cats. Oh, the cat's not everything. He's got a little chippy on his ear. Vintage Siamese cats. Adorable. Okay, I could stay in this store all day, but we're just popping in to see what's going on. Look, guys, the buyer's dolls. I just found one, and I talked about it. $39. Look at the expressions on the faces. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Look at that, it looks like a real person. Her glasses are a little crooked. Do we love these dolls? Yes, we do. Oh my goodness. Leave a comment down below if you collect these dolls. I might need to start doing that for Christmas. All right. Okay, like I said, we just popped in because we were passing by and I couldn't pass by without taking a look to see what everybody has, what all my friends have. Good stuff, lots of good merchandise if you're in the area. I think this is still considered Ephrata. I'll leave the description of the place, the address in the show's notes, in the video's notes, so you guys can find this place and come shopping. Lots of the vendors having sales, 20 to 50% off. So um, there is something for everybody here. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.